Hi there graders, happy Thursday. Just a reminder, there's a no online learning tomorrow, no distance learning, because there's no school. So you don't have to check in unless you are missing an assignment or something like that. So just enjoy your time at home, have a happy long weekend. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about my very one of my very favorite um, figures from the American Revolution. And the reason that I like her so much is that because there's a lot of mystery surrounding her life. So just to preface her biography a little bit, um, back then, back in the 17, late 1700s, remember white men were the only people who were allowed to vote, they were the only people allowed to hold land, they were the only people who had all of the rights of Englishmen, right? So women didn't have the same rights as men and people of color didn't have the same rights as white men. So a lot of times when um, nobility or leaders of the army were talking about their plans for um, the war, so whether it was the Continental Army or the British Army, a lot of times they would t speak freely about their plans in front of women and slaves and other people of color because they didn't really think, you know, they're not going to tell anybody because they're just, you know, women. They're just, you know, our slaves. But that wasn't a very good idea because women and slaves became some of the best spies for both sides. So the woman that I'm going to talk to you about today was a spy for the Continental Army and she gave General George Washington a lot of information about um, the... British plans. So we don't know what her name is because everything that's written about her, they don't have her name. So what she is known in history as is Agent 355. So there's not even a picture of her because no one knew what she looked like, no one knew who she was, but she was feeding really important information to George Washington during the Revolutionary War. So she was really impactful, but no one knows who she was. Historians think that she was either a maid for a Loyalist family, or she was actually a part of a Loyalist family. So whether she was married to someone who worked in for the British Army, or if she was a daughter of someone who worked for the British Army, no one, no one really knows. All we know that she is that she lived in New York, um, and I'll read now a little bit about her from this website called womenhistoryblog.com. So female spy in the American Revolution. A group of spies known as the Culper Spy Ring operated from 1778 to 1780 as an intricate network from British occupied New York to Secaucus, Long Island, north to Connecticut, and then west to George Washington's headquarters in Newburgh, New York. Agent 355 was the codename of a female spy in the Culpeper ring. Her real identity is unknown. The spy network was particularly effective in gathering valuable information from careless conversations between the British, British and their sympathizers. And then it just kind of goes on talking about maybe who she was, who she might have been related to, who she might have been married to. Um, so that is Agent 355. And I think that you should take a look at this website because she's really cool and really interesting. All right, have a great long weekend, third graders, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye.